Yo, All right. You know, it's a par train. Up, Love it. Is this, this a par train? Love right. it. No, because I'm dumping chips over here. We out here at uh, a random Piggly Wiggly, fueling up, getting some gas yeah. and whatnot. We about to go to Tallahassee, meet up with my man, Kenny. Kenny Shaw, he's shooting up a couple rounds of golf, practicing for jet and whatnot. So, let's check up on him. Meet up with my boy Smoke. He got the best yeah, ribs in the city, Smoke's so Meat. So, check out Smoke's Meat Barbecue. And then we'll hop at uh, yeah. Pick's Vintage Shop, yeah. grab some swag, and uh, that's about it. We out, it's a roll up. It's a roll up, it's the vibes. Kenny Shaw here, getting a little tea time before we yeah. kick some blue devil asses. Um, got my caddy in the back. Give me my rain distance and whatnot. Um, it's a beautiful day, you know. Golf is a serene sport. It's one of them things that's therapeutic for me. Um, as I get better at this game, it's, I also get better at life, I feel like, on this golf course. So this is what I like to do. I mean, changing locations, even though I'm in Tallahassee, still got to get me around then. So we out here, Capital City Country Club, man, we just, just shooting some with my man, Kurt. Matt, say what's up, Matt. And, you know, we just vibing, man. Um, I love this game. Got my vintage bag. Oh, you gotta bring that out. You like that bag? No, like, like some 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 booster was like, hey, I see you looking for some old like logo because you know they changed the logo, and I was like, let me get it embroidered, you know. So I tell you what, Jen, you got my, the swag. I just put the embroidery on. You gonna beat that shit? That little ten year old <laughs> man. Hey, so. <laughs> Well, now that the starting quarterback's not playing. Is that, did they release it? No, they say it's going to be game time. Man, they full of shit. Are you They're jumping? just messing with us. Yeah. Now watch I out. don't discredit any team, you know, no, but. They say guys for real this year, though. But. But, but I'm going to be, this is my only cocky moment of the day, but we've. <laughs> we haven't teed off yet. We, we, we are Florida. No, I'm saying. We are Florida. He's, he's look, he's we are Florida State, so. That's right. I, I think. That's right. They haven't seen. How do I get you to join Don Society? <laughs> Shit, I feel like I'm already a part of it. Look, look at this. Oh, that's nice. God damn. Man, <laughs> damn. Yo, yo, yo. Top of the morning, you did. It's a cool 73 in Buckhead yeah. right now, and I'm about to take a this is a damn double eagle. Took a walk to Whole Foods with my white tee on. Roll some trees for the stroll type of eyes I be on. That's where legends are made, Kenny. Hey, if this is my second shot, what does that make this? Oh, it's part four. I'm at the juice bar with the fresh squeeze with the puck. I'm really here for the vibes and the grass and stuff. My two pace, twelve bucks. That's for that little one. I honestly forgot this blunt was behind my ear tuck. Once I verify my receipt, I'm gonna fire this thing up. It's a five minute. No, I promise you. You can't look at the whole fairway. You gotta pick a tiny spot. I'm gonna pick that white. <laughs> That's the best spot. Right in the middle. <laughs> Damn, Ken. Okay. Alright, there you go. Boy, I thought, I thought he was gonna walk up there and slap it like Happy Gilmore. Nah, I scraped the ground. Shit. Yeah, I just think. I don't have natural ability like Mr. Shaw. Yeah! Come on, man. Feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. This guy. Feeling it. Nice shot. It was the song. Fuck it. That's right. You got a Phil Collins. Hey, Phil Collins is a fucking. Even if you never heard it in your life, that song come on, you like. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of that Hangover. Oh, Hangover? Yeah. Mike Tyson knocked Buddy out. But I told you on the podcast how they look at you like wait, seven months. He's, yeah. he's been going for a couple of years now. Hey, listen. I, 
That's why I told you. You, you seeing it in person. I, I'm going to kick some ass in my... If I get it... <laughs> when I get my full year under my belt, I ain't take no lesson. Take some lessons? No. Who, who got in the bunker? <laughs> this you? Yeah. Shit. Now, you know what golf is. I feel like golf is a bunch of, like... You either confident or you not. So, as you see, I don't warm up with the driver because I get in my head. I feel like I'm not calling the day was in the trees, <laughs> but you, you're making it out of it. Shit. I'm, I'm enjoying the day. <laughs> <laughs> I get to play with Kenny Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we've been trying to make this. See, I'm glad we got it. All right. Next season, you have to come up more often. We'll do it a lot. No, definitely. We're playing Tampa too. We're in Orlando. Uh, a lot of golf too is who you playing with. Like some of these, some of these events. Like who you playing with? If they boring and shit, and you yeah. suck, I think that's, that's a okay. horrible combo. Yeah, yeah. that discouraged me from, yeah. from golf. So, you ready? We just up there. Uh huh. Oh, he's gonna be with me. He's gonna be with me. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's getting out. Look at this. It's rolling. What kind of seven dog? months? You got to be golf for seven months. You yeah. got that members bounce. I don't no. know what they do here. That's no. <laughs> you got that natural athletic ability. No, I tell them <laughs> seven months. You know, it's like it's like it's like any sport. Hey, am I lying with this? Any sport, if you practice it, you get better. It's as easy as that. Hey. Hey. Don't hit That's not a catfish. Any words in the best front nine? You play with a celebrity, you play better. Runway stunts. I ain't even the model and they flicking me up. This crowd bougie as fuck. Enjoy that transfer. I love it. No worldwide, but you know about it. It's flowing right through me. Yeah. Runway stunts. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
not as much media, so we can have a little bit more fun. Yeah, Shit look, look, social media was different, but yeah. I mean, we had a, how many game days did we have that? You know, oh, we had, we had, we, we had, had. I mean, the energy here was just we had, look, so different. So y'all had to worry, y'all won. Y'all had to worry about losing. Uh, what's your worst homecoming experience then? I don't even have one. I think the worst homecoming experience is, is playing a, a, a away game, like when fam, you got their homecoming. So <laughs> family homecoming is always perfect. Oh my but God, Jim, Jimbo, Jimbo always masterminded the schedule where we will be away <laughs> from the, yeah, he didn't want us in it. But one year, the 13th year, he fucked around and let us have one. It obviously, it's a win, but it was the same weekend as FAMU. I said, oh, man. So what's the vibes of uh, Florida State? Because you know FAMU, they're going to bring in Rick Ross, T.I. They're going to bring in some vibes. What's the vibes of a Florida State homecoming? Man, hey. FAMU's got FSU beat. Yeah, that, that's not it. That's not even a comparison. But you, you know, it's all love. Like, I think I think most folks get it uh, missing skew with, like, across the tracks. Like, I, I'm, I'm over there, too. Like, you know, it's all my little sister graduated from there. So HBCU is nothing. You're a person. So it's more so, like, if we have the time to go out. That's that's what it come down to. Like, if we got the time, I'm going to go mess with them boys across the I mean, tracks. Maybe homecoming is a week. Right. It's not just the Saturday of the game. It's, oh, it starts Sunday Monday. night. Hey, it goes Sunday. To Sunday night. I mean, it's a Sunday come into town. The hotels are booked. The, I mean, that's why FSU and families they can't even do the, the same week. I mean, it has to be a completely different week because the city couldn't, couldn't no real, hold, no couldn't hold that many people. Um, I always like to hear football players why athletes in general. Mm -hmm. Why? What made you play this game and get to the level you at now? Um, I feel like what made me, um, you know, continue to play this game is at first, you know, I had the love for it. You know, I started when I was in 2007, so six years old, and you know, I just kind of played it. It was fun. It was fun. And unfortunately, I'm one of those kids that kind of grew up in a single parent household with no father, stuff like that. So I didn't really have anybody showing me the right way. And I kind of came from a city, you know, Fort Myers, Florida, home of Deion Sanders. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of came from a city where you know you don't make it out, and there's nobody to show you the right way. And I kind of, um, you know, just believed in my coaches and. I I found out what Florida State really was because I was that kid that I wanted to go to Florida State, but I didn't know what it was. And, you know, it kind of just in the lines of doing that. Kinda, I was just a kid that was always goal-driven and just always understood what it took to get there. And I just, you know, made sure I did everything I had to do. So. Nah, um, we was, uh, me and Trey was on a golf course and we were talking about um, – you know, I, I, I come from a background where, you know, I got, I got a strong foundation uh, with my mother. So it, it comes from a it's a it's an extra grind when you put on that cleats in the past. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, I, I do think us men, we need hugs at the end of the day. We need we need to be told, hey, you're doing a good job um, besides football, because that's all that's all our vision is. is get it to the get to the pros, get to the NFL. Yeah. So. Um, what can you tell a, a young man who's struggling with um, just figuring himself out and trying to make it into this game? Because I can tell a man on camera, um, this game can open some doors if you, you approach it the right, right way. So what can you tell a young man who just need to hear some encouragement? Um, you know, one of the first things that I would say is, you know, I would just tell the kid, you know, figure out your why. And you know, also when you figure out that why, you have to think about you know the deeper reason behind it. You know, me, the reason I, I lace up my cleats, the reason that I put on my helmet is because I know that at the end of the day, the name on the back is the only thing that I have with me. You know, I was one of those kids that came to college and didn't have much. You know, my household family is just me and three. Yeah. Me and three, that's it. Like the the rest of my family, I didn't really have that. You know, family oriented people. I'm very I'm very family oriented, but my family wasn't. If that makes sense. Like I was kind of like one of those kids in the family that like I'm first generation student mm -hmm. in college, and my mom tried to go to college, but she had a reason why she couldn't go. Mm -hmm. My dad's in prison. He caught life in prison when I was very young, mm -hmm. and my older brothers, they all they flunked out. They, you know, there was always you know you had like all my people in my family are just like been so close but never did it mm -hmm. and they never did it because they didn't really understand their why mm -hmm. i understand my why because you know i understand that this is something that i have to do for us you mm -hmm. know i kind of understood that at a young age that i'm the one that's gonna have to make it right and kind of show like a different light in our family so yeah yeah now nah, hey keep it going um only thing i can say because you know i got a little bit more years on um just always 
fi figure out what make you happy at the end of the day because that shit get tough when it, when you got to fend for everybody else in that household and in the family tree. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, find what make you happy and just, just elevate with it. Yeah. That's all I got to say. I'm going to get back to the little man. All right, man. One appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. One a little champagne is still early in the day. You know what I'm saying? No matter what time yeah. it is, make sure that pink real yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah. North Florida, baby, these some vibes for the players. You know what I'm saying? These some vibes for them yeah. players. You we know what I'm saying? Real yeah. 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 Got a few moves in place. Let's see how it'll play. You know what I'm saying? You're going to lose yeah. on this move. Keep it real player. <laughs> Smoke, what a real, oh uh, man. <laughs> hey, oh, I, I just, I'm fresh off the golf course, man. I, I need some ribs. Yeah, yeah, what it is, dog. Oh, good. Chillin', man, chillin'. Best ribs on the block. Best ribs. Yeah. Hey, wheel that shit in here. Come on, oh, yeah, it's let's hot. Do this. It's the roll up, it's the vibes. We out here at Pit Goods Vintage Shop. I'm in here with the best barbecue pit master in Tallahassee. Best meat on the block, Paul. 91, tell the people about the product. It's good, man. 91 Smoke Brandon, man, Brandon Johnson. Here in Tallahassee at Pit Goods, man. It's a wonderful location, bro. Wonderful location, man. But here today, we got some smoke barbecue, man, from Smokes Meats Barbecue. We got ribs, uh, chicken, and of course, I know you don't eat pork, so I got you on the salmon, and I did it on a separate grill to be respectful of your beliefs and everything. So, yes, man. So I made sure I got y'all straight, dog. Uh, got you some to-go plates. You can take take it with you, man, and eat it tonight. Hopefully, y'all get this win. I, I I'm gonna go for y'all tonight. Oh, uh, that's go love. I appreciate that. All right, let's talk about uh, let's talk about what's in the box, man. Let's bust it. Let's break it down and show off the product. One thing we do do, though, man, you gotta make sure you keep it sanitized. Man, shout out the to top, top no, brand, man. They say no glove, no love. Hey, man, you gotta keep it clean, dog. Gotta keep it clean, man. I appreciate that. I'm not just, just you know going in there raw, grabbing the meat and putting Got it on two, the plate. man, bro, man. I was raised around a lady who worked in food service, became a supervisor in food service, and she don't play about the, the sanitize, man. So I gotta keep it sanitized, dog. Put this right here. So I gotta ask, right? What it is? I know, I know it's, it's busting because I can smell it from outside. So streets want to know process. You know what separates smoked meat from the other people? Oh, bro, because we get up early with it, man. We get up early. Prep time starts two days before with the cleaning um, of the uh, area that I cook in, and then uh, two, man. We just put love into it, bro. I'm always listening to music that I love, and so I'm vibing in there while I'm putting this food together for you. Right here, I know. Because I know it's light. I know that's the salmon right there. Mm, nice. I know that's the salmon, man. I know that's the salmon. Um, I got you some, got you a fork, my brother. I'm going to lay it out. Okay. Forks and that. No, I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. You, scared? you trying? You trying to bust down the salmon? Okay. All right, go. All right. You got uh, how many herbs and spices? You you took over the kernel? Spices? Uh uh. Nah, nah. It's uh, honey, rosemary, uh. Oh, bro. Uh, black pepper, uh, vinegar, just to get that that smokes that smokes barbecue to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's your size when, when you make this um this salmon? I do cabbage. Place? I do smoked cabbage too, with it, dog. Uh, but I'm trying to start off on the sides. Really haven't really got them all down. So I do the proteins right now. Make sure I get the proteins. Down. Yeah. Okay. We the main dish with it, so you know what I'm saying. So you got to get. The main dish. All right, so now we're gonna hit it with the rooter from the tutor, right? Now we got some chicken right here. So you say you do everything to order? Everything they, uh, to order. They uh. You talked about um, preparation and whatnot and getting into the vibes of, you know, you preparing your, your <laughs> succulent, you know, <laughs> food. 
And what are you listening to, bro? I mean, I'm listening to Top Brand, One Wheel, uh, Smoke Five Beach, uh, uh, CLB Cam. That's my cousin. Matter of fact, his brother play on Florida State. Uh, Dylan Stubbs uh, plays safety. Uh, then his bro other brother plays for uh, plays in Jacksonville as a top 25 top recruit. So it's all in the family. I have CLB Cam on, um, but them really the main three that I'm listening to. The main three or four I'm listening to all the time, man. While I'm in the in the kitchen with it, man. What inspired you about that music? Oh, they just put that 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 love into it. Then I know them personally, so I know when they rap where they coming from, so I can respect their music. You know? All right. Hopefully they respect my clicking while I'm listening to their music. No doubt, I'm pretty sure they do, yeah, man. man. Hey, I'm here at Dope Campbell. I'm with Lil Shaw's Raw. Um, standing in front of our 2013 plaque. Feels good to be back home. Um, like a big win today. We had a big win on the golf course, so I'm trying to transition into that field now. Um, feel very nostalgic being back. Um, a lot of memories here, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but you know, this is home, and um, it's always a pleasure being back. I, I, and fun fact, I don't lose when baby boy and the family come up to Tallahassee, so hey, I like a 14 plus lead. That's all she wrote. Go nose. It ain't hard to see. Low key, but my president might cause a scene. Instead of acting out, I'm always gonna keep it peak. Old lady told my girl she's gorgeous, I agree. We on top of my city having a five star cuisine. Chandelier on the ceiling, it's about as big as me. This white wine compliment my frame, so does my beads. I'm feeling inspired, damn, I should have bought some tree. But I'm learning there's a time and place for everything. Fly shit, but there's a lot of game in between. Like how you carry yourself, it really speaks volumes. My G always look presentable. They're watching, you ain't gotta speak. If I could still see the sleep in your eyes, then you too close to me. The early bird get the worm, which you ain't trying to eat. I've been practicing my posture in the company I keep. Just because I played it cool, don't mean I ain't peep. This fly shit that we on, influential, it ain't hard to see. One, it ain't hard to see at all. Yeah, this fly shit that we on, influential, it ain't hard to see You know what I'm saying, it ain't hard, man, this shit fly, you did Yeah, we talk that fly shit, but it's a lot of game in between You know what I'm saying, it's a lot of game in between, you just gotta peep it Make it look like I'm chilling, but I'm really handling business, G Hey, y'all know that's my favorite line right there, you know what I'm saying Make it look like you're chilling, but you, you know what I'm saying, one Soon as I hopped in the whip, I had to light the weed In reference to, there's a time and place for everything One deep, comfortably in my seat Got the moon roof tilted, cruising at a low speed Roll my window up before the light, I ain't trying to be seen I shouldn't be texting and driving, but it's about tomorrow's cheese The way I rock these tees, I would love a sponsor, please I've been practicing merchandise and I'd rather sponsor me this label wasted my time via FaceTime meetings Talking about analytics and how their names could help my streams Make it happen on your own so you can get a bigger piece This fly shit influential that I'm on, I know the vibe to me One, it ain't hard to see at all The fly shit that is How would you tell the world something? Hey, Richard Johnson back! <laughs> <laughs> Good to be back home though, man How y'all? Kenny Shaw, baby <laughs> That's my dude.